everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a double dutch fold card. So this one has been on my request list. I've actually had a, a real high amount of people ask to make this fun fold card. So I finally got around to doing it and it's really, really lovely. There's loads and loads of designs over on you know Pinterest and stuff. So I've just had a look at some of the pictures, but the size and stuff I've done myself. I wanted a five by seven, so I've just played around and you can see the five by seven envelope there and it will fit in that perfectly. But basically what this one is, it's kind of like a, a fancier gatefold card. I think that's why I've enjoyed it so much because I do like gatefold cards. But basically you lift this up and then inside you can write your message. Now you can obviously stamp something and do more if you want, but mine's a thank you card. And whenever I have thank you cards, I always like to write something inside. So I just leave that kind of blank. But basically when it opens, these little kind of gates on the side are obviously, you know, what hold the card up. And then that piece just sits kind of on top so it's really hard for me to if I bring it up you imagine it's like that that's how it looks like that that is your kind of front profile so these kind of open and it rests on top so this flap is half an inch longer you can see here it comes over by half an inch so you have that amount to be able to kind of just rest like so. Some people have them right on the actual gatefold so they bring the gatefolds out like that Again, that looks fine if you want to have it like that, but I actually like them just inside and this just rests on the top, so it's entirely up to you. Now, I'm using an old faithful, this is the Nature's Grace a collection by Dovecraft and I love it, and it just reminded me of my lovely butterflies again, so I've got them out and used my little, um, these are those plastic um, 3D butterflies that look quite real and they're gorgeous, but everything else is by Nature's Grace, so I'm gonna talk you through that. So really, really straightforward, nice and easy card. So for this one, you are going to need, I'll go through all my mats and layers in a moment. So first of all, our cardstock. So this is a piece of 10 by 11, okay? Now along the 10 inch side, you want to score it two and a half and seven and a half, okay? And then along the 11 inch side, you're going to score at seven all the way down. Then you're going to score it three and a half just up to the first score line. Then flip it and score it three and a half again to the first score line. Now it doesn't matter that those are reversed because they're just cut lines. Okay. And that is it. So if I just hold that up there you can see you've got your two score lines there and then that's the seven inch, was it seven inch one? Yeah, that went right across. And you can see there I've just got those two, three and a half and three and a half. You don't want to go right through because that's the back of your card base. So that is this piece here inside. So obviously if you had that score line you'd see it. All right. Okay, so that's everything there. And while I've got my scoreboard out, I'll talk you through your layers and mats. So this is the large mat to go inside. So this is what I'm going to write my message on. Like I said, you might want to stamp this. And this is four and three quarters by six and three quarters. Okay, so that's going to go inside. I've already done my topper for the front. You can have any shape you want. It's entirely up to you, but I quite liked the oval because it's a tall card. I thought the oval looked quite nice going over the top there. So again, all I've done is I've used my Dove, no, sorry, not Dovecraft, my, um, these are the Tonic uh, layering stitched oval dies. And um, they're really nice because you, you get a straight edge and then you get the fancy edge and then straight and fancy. So when they're layered on top of each other, you can see that I've got the fancy edge with the silver and then I've got the straight edge with the purple and then the fancy edge again. So they're nice ones. And I have linked them before, so I'll find some and I'll link that in my blog. And then this is my piece for the top here. So once this flap comes over, so the purple card, I've already stuck everything down just to keep the video short, but the purple card is four and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then your patterned layer on top is three and a half by four and a half. So I'm just dropping down in quarter inch increments each time just so you get the even border. Now it's up to you whether you want two or four of all the sizes that I'm going to give you next because I have done the outside and inside. I thought it looked quite nice, okay? But you can just have two. It doesn't matter, it's entirely up to you. So you either need two or four pieces of two and a quarter by three and a quarter, and that's my purple piece. Then you will need two or four pieces of two by three, and that's the pattern paper. So I've already gone ahead and stuck down all my pattern pieces on top, okay? And again, with that piece as well, I stuck that on top as well. Okay, so let's go back to our card base, get rid of my scoreboard. Oh, and knock my light there. 
Okay, so what you want to do first of all is burnish all of your score lines. So just grab my bone folder. So that's my two long score lines. And then that's the seven inch score line. And like I said, the other ones are cut lines. So just flip it over. So you should have these three and a half score lines facing you, all right, towards the bottom. Then what we're going to do is cut along each one. So I'm removing the score line and just cutting right across, okay, like so. And again on this one here, completely remove that score line, like so, okay. Then bring it up so they're now facing away from you and you're going to cut right down this whole piece. We're going to remove this whole bit here. So really neatly, because obviously this is all going to be on show. Again, I'm removing all of the score lines, so I'm cutting to the left-hand side here just so it looks obviously nicer, like so. And just do that again on this side. Okay, so that's what you've just removed. Now when you fold that down and fold them in, there is your double dutch card, dutch fold card. So I'm just going to burnish all of those nice and neat. And there you have it. So now when you fold it, kind of open it up, you can see a bit more. There you can see the, the way it looks, like so. You do need a strong card for this because what I would say is once you start adding things on this, what you don't, this one doesn't do it, but I can imagine that some will start to bow like that. If you do get that, I would put some nice pretty paper or cardstock on the back just to kind of pull it back up and balance it out. But um, this is the colossal um, Paper Mania Do Crafts cardstock that I always use, which is 216. GSM. Again, I'll link it into my um, my blog anyway. All right. So that's all done. So now I'm just going to stick all this down. So this big piece is going to go on top, like so. And then I can lift that one up. And then these two are going to go here. And then the other two are going to go here. And this one's just going to go inside, like so. So I'm going to get them all stuck down. Okay. So that is all of my mats and layers stuck down, and it just really becomes a really strong, solid card, and it's lovely. You can see there when I open it up. See what I mean? You can have them resting on top or just behind that way. So then you just need to finish it off with your topper. Now, obviously, that is entirely up to you what you're going to use. But again, I've had this more towards the top, so I know I need to put glue kind of from where the bottom of that best wishes is all the way up. Even this is all from Nature's Grace as well. So again, I'll try and link in as much as possible. because although it's an older pack, it is still available in places. And I have got a lot of use out of it and I've made some really gorgeous projects and you can find all of those um, whenever I use all the Trimcraft products, they are in their own board on my Pinterest page. So if you head over to my Pinterest page, just Mixed Up Craft, you will see Nature's Grace. And if you click on Nature's Grace, you'll see all my other projects that I've made using the same paper pack. And it's beautiful. Really, really is a lovely collection. So I'm just sticking that one like so. And there it is. Done. That was pretty much, I mean, obviously it's real time in terms of the construction. I know i done my mats and layers and cut everything. But I reckon you could get that all done within half an hour easily. So again, if you need to just grab a quick card, then I would say this is definitely one to do. And I think it's got a real wow factor. So there's that one and there's that one there. So gorgeous. So I hope you've liked these double Dutch fold cards from me today and tune in again for another tutorial soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.